If you're wondering which Windows tablets are worth your money, stick around. After we run through each product, I'll give you my personal take. Would I buy it or would I skip it? No fluff, just my honest opinion. Let's get into it. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Tablet The build quality feels flimsy compared to competitors like the Surface Pro 9 and the tablet portion feels too heavy for comfortable handheld use. The display's color accuracy is subpar, making it less than ideal for creative work or media consumption. Performance is sluggish even with basic multitasking, and the battery life barely lasts through a fu full workday. The detachable keyboard feels mushy and imprecise, making typing a chore rather than a pleasure. Would I buy it? No. The combination of poor build quality and underwhelming performance makes it hard to recommend when better options exist in the same price range. Microsoft Surface Go 3 the compact 10.5-inch size makes it super portable and perfect for quick note-taking or browsing on the go. Performance can struggle with multiple apps open, but it handles basic tasks like web browsing and document editing just fine. The build quality is solid with a premium feel, though the bezels look dated compared to modern tablets. Battery life is decent but not outstanding, giving you about 6-7 to seven hours of real-world use. Would I buy it? Maybe. It's a good budget option if you need a basic Windows tablet for light tasks, but don't expect it to handle heavy workloads. Microsoft Surface Go 4 The upgraded processor delivers significantly better performance than the Go 3, making multitasking actually enjoyable. The premium build quality and compact form factor make it perfect for students or mobile professionals who need Windows on the go. Battery life has been improved to last through a full day of work or school. The high-quality display makes everything look crisp and vibrant, perfect for both work and entertainment. Would I buy it? Yes. It hits the sweet spot between portability and functionality, making it the ideal choice for anyone needing a compact Windows tablet. Microsoft Surface Pro 9 The display is gorgeous with its 120Hz refresh rate and 2880-1920 resolution, but the highly reflective surface creates annoying glare outdoors. Performance is strong with the Intel model handling 20-plus browser tabs without breaking a sweat. Though it's not great for gaming, the design hasn't changed from previous generations, which feels lazy, and the lack of headphone jack is frustrating. Battery life is disappointing compared to the ARM version, and the necessity to buy accessories separately makes the total cost uncomfortably high. Would I buy it? No. Despite its powerful performance and beautiful display, the high price tag and missing features make it hard to justify over more affordable alternatives. Microsoft Surface Pro 10 the Surface Pro 10 feels like a stepping stone, still rocking that familiar design we've seen for years but with some decent improvements under the hood. The battery life is pretty solid, giving you around 8 hours of real-world use, though it's nothing groundbreaking compared to what the Pro 11 can do. While the performance is good enough for everyday tasks, you might notice some sluggishness when pushing it with heavy multitasking or demanding apps. The display is still that crisp, vibrant panel we've come to expect from Surface devices but it's missing that sweet OLED upgrade that makes the Pro 11 really pop. Would I buy it? Maybe. It's a solid device if you can find it on sale, but with the Pro 11 offering so much more for a similar price, it's hard to justify going for the older model. Microsoft Surface Pro 11 Let me tell you this thing is an absolute beast with its new Snapdragon X processor, handling everything I throw at it while staying whisper quiet. The OLED display is mind-blowing, with its 120Hz refresh rate making everything butter smooth. And the colors are just incredible. Battery life is fantastic, easily lasting through a full day of work, and the device stays cool even under heavy loads. The build quality is top-notch with the premium aluminum frame and the kickstand that just works perfectly. Would I buy it? Yes. This is the Windows tablet of it right now, offering incredible performance, battery life, and that gorgeous OLED display that makes everything look stunning. Lenovo Yoga Book C930 the E-Ink second screen is a unique feature that sets it apart, though typing on it takes some serious getting used to. Performance is decent for basic tasks, but that older 7th gen processor really shows its age when you push it. The device is incredibly thin and light, making it super portable, but you are sacrificing power for that sleek design. While the main display produces crisp colors and sharp detail, the lack of a backlight E-Ink screen means you can't use the keyboard in the dark. Would I buy it? Maybe. It's an innovative concept with some cool features, but the dated hardware and typing experience make it hard to recommend unless you're specifically after that e-ink functionality. Asus Rockflow Z13 This thing is an absolute powerhouse, packing a Core i9-13900H and RTX 4060 in a tablet form factor that honestly blows my mind. The 13.4-inch QHD Plus display is gorgeous, with a 165Hz refresh rate that makes everything look silky smooth. 
Build quality is fantastic, with a unique design featuring that cool RGB lit window showing off the internals. The only real downside is the battery life lasting only about 3.5 hours of web browsing, but the raw performance makes up for it. Would I buy it? Yes. If you want the most powerful Windows tablet money can buy and don't mind the shorter battery life, this is the ultimate choice for both gaming and creative work. Lenovo IdeaPad Duet 3i The design is absolutely fantastic with a premium feeling plastic body and a metal kickstand that opens super wide. Plus, you get two USB-C ports and a microSD card slot. The 10.3-inch Full HD screen is bright and sharp with great colors, though the speakers are pretty disappointing compared to cheaper tablets. While it handles basic office work and web browsing okay, the 4GB RAM and Celeron processor often get maxed out even with simple multitasking, and OneDrive syncing can slow everything down dramatically. The keyboard is actually great for typing and the touch touchpad works well, making it a decent budget option if you specifically need Windows. Would I buy it? Yes. It's an excellent budget Windows tablet that gives you the basics at a great price point, though you'll need to keep your performance expectations in check. Lenovo ThinkPad X12 Gen 2 This premium tablet comes with both the keyboard and pen included, features a sturdy metal build that's passed military-grade durability tests, and rocks a gorgeous 12.3-inch 3-2 display with 400 nits brightness. The typing experience is fantastic with a classic ThinkPad feel, though the keyboard can feel a bit cramped due to the tablet's compact size. Performance from the Intel Core Ultra processor is decent for everyday tasks, but falls behind competitors like the Dell Latitude 7350. And battery life is somewhat disappointing. The front and rear cameras are pretty good for a tablet, making it great for video calls and document scanning. Plus, it, had, it has Windows Studio Effect support. Would I buy it? Yes. Despite some performance limitations, it's a solid business-focused Windows tablet that offers great build quality and includes all accessories in the box making it a good value proposition. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you pick the Windows tablets for you. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Links to all of these products mentioned in this video will be in the description. Alright, peace out.